Welcome to Zoe Game Night. I'm Sharon, the technical director for ZGN. Tonight, on our adventure in the games of the years, we are playing the Spiel des Jahres from 2017, King Domino from Blue Orange. King Domino plays similarly to classic dominoes, but with a kingdom-building twist reminiscent of Carcassonne. We will start with four land dominoes revealed. Arranged according to the number on the back of the domino. The first player, which is determined randomly, will place their meeple on the tile that they want, and then the other players will do the same. Then we will reveal another row of dominoes. Each player takes two actions on their turn. First, they place the domino that they have in their personal kingdom. And then they claim a new one from the row. The player who has claimed the lowest numbered domino will go first, and then the next lowest until all of the players have gone. Then we will draw another row of dominoes and go again. A domino must be placed so that one of its land types is next to the same land type that's already in the kingdom. The starting castle is a wild card. So this double forest tile can be played here, it can be played here, but it cannot be played here because the desert and the forest don't match up, just like Carcassonne. The kingdom cannot grow to be more than five squares across in either direction, so place your tiles carefully because there's no way to move them once they're down. The game ends when all of the tiles have been placed. To determine who wins, each connected territory of the same land type will score points according to the total number of crown icons that are inside that territory. The number of crowns times the number of squares in that territory equals points for that player. The player with the most points wins. As always, you will be playing with us. There will be a poll to determine which tile you will claim, and make sure to put in the chat where you want your tile to be placed. The other players will move your pieces on your behalf. With that said, let's play King Domino. Night. Hey, yeah. Hey, you have sound. Why, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Zoe Game Night. This time with sound. Uh, what? If the magical, the mystical group, thing. Right. Thanks for being here. I want to thank everyone so far who's here. It's me, Bryce. Sharon's over here doing tech things and being Sharon. We've got Madeline in her home studio doing Madeline things. And I can't see the picture, but I assume Luke is dressed up in a tuxedo. Uh huh. Yep. Not quite. It's a quarantine see. tuxedo. Yes, yes. You're classy enough that it comes through regardless of what you're wearing. Well, thank you. I, I do my level best. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been a while, but we're getting back to Game of the Year, the Spiel des Jahres. So, if you haven't been with us, this is a game for the previous ones. This is a game that has won Game of the Year from... The council, I don't know, whoever makes this decision. Somebody I'm... decided they were going to give an award for the best game of the year, and we just accept their opinion. Yes, it's been going on since 1979, 78, and this, I don't have the exact date, I think it might have been like, this is why Doug was here, because he knew these things. <laughs> I want to say it was like 2017, maybe 2018? No, it's 2017. It's 2017, alright. 2018 was Azul. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah. this is 2017. Of course, 2018 was also like 10 years ago. So. Yeah, I don't even know how long it's been. 
So, this is a 2017 winner. It's called King Domino. Maybe Sharon has a box picture. Maybe she doesn't. But here it is. It's, uh, well, okay. Oh, look. If I had looked yeah. at the box. Look Woo! at that guy. 2017. Look at that guy. And it is without a space. I have been spelling it King Space Capital Domino. Oh. Um, so, for whoever read my Discord message and got supremely confused about my spelling, sorry. That was my bad. All good, I think. So, you guys watched the play through thing that Sharon did. So, I hope you're all up to snuff. Got yourself an ace machine and we should be good to go. Uh, chat, you can choose your color. Right now, I have you set up as pink because that's usually what you guys want to be is pink or purple. There is no purple. So, Luke has claimed <laughs> blue. You guys have the option of green, yellow, or pink. I'll take let you guys have a minute to decide because the way that we decide who goes first is I'm going to pull Meeple out of my hand and that's who gets to pick first. So, oh, so are we deciding who goes first and then picking our colors? Well, no, because Luke's blue. What okay. color do you want to be, Madeline? Oh, me? Yeah, I mean, or you can wait for chat to say what they want to be. I'm kind of waiting for chat because, you know, I, I'm in uncharted territories. I'm not blue. Colors that aren't blue. Like, what are they even about? Yeah. Well, Pax says pink, so we're going with pink. All right. Pull over. Oh, I'll be green then. Oh, ugh, I'm yellow. Gosh. <laughs> Disgusting. My most hated of colors. All right. Yellow is such a happy color. And I'm so angry that it burns it away to That's orange true. and red. You are in no way a happy person. <laughs> I'm the angriest of angers. So, but it's the color of mustard. Do you not like mustard? Uh, if you have good mustard, it's brown. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> the way this is played, you guys saw the video. But you're going to take your meeple, you're going to put it on one of these numbers, and that will then go onto your domino space, your playing board. Yeah, your kingdom. Yeah, your kingdom. Like, king domino. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can can tell, but they're little, there's little crowns. There's little crowns on these. There's, there's also supposed to be little kingdoms. Yeah. But they don't show up oh, vertically. Wow. Yeah. That, so that looks like a puzzle blindness test. I mean, we could do this. Does yeah. That look okay, guys? Sure. It doesn't really matter. Regardless, we're, I'm going to flip these over because what's going to happen every round is that I'll flip them over. We'll get a new one after we pick. And then you'll take whatever one is yours and put it onto your kingdom. And that will determine who gets to go first next round because if you were on the first position you get to go first that's just how numbers work so i'm going to flip these over so you guys can look at them now if you happen to tune in a little late and you didn't catch the video the way you score points is by contiguous spaces of the same type like grass or forest times how many crowns are in that space that area Pretty simple. So, we'll, I, I feel like we'll be able to get a couple games of this in. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So, the first player is Chat. Excellent. Yay. So, Chat, you get to choose which one of these you would like. And then I'm going to just continue choosing who gets to go. That way we all have an idea of where we'll be in the line. Right. And forgive me, is is chat active uh, on this Skype call, or are they in Discord? The, they're uh, on the Twitch chat. Okay. They're they're yeah. not in the Skype call. That would be a lot of people. Oh yeah. The Skype uh. already barely works. <laughs> it's got. True. Like we can barely get two people on this call. Yeah. So. Oh. Think about what you're gonna to want to take next, Madeline, because you're up after chat. Oh, okay. And choosing the numbers should be pretty easy because it'll be one through four. What will be more difficult 
will be choosing how your orientation and how you want it to be. That will be a little more of a challenge. Luke, chat wants you to know that they say hi. <laughs> Hello, right back. Sorry, I'm just not logged in there. And like normal, I'm I don't want to like be right next to my camera, so I'm looking at the stream on my phone. Good. So if you, I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. No, no, you're you're texting. We know it. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> All right. Chad says they want the bottom tile. Boom. Okay. But now, how do you want it attached? Your starting tile is a wild card, and so it could be any which way you want. But remember that it can't be, your kingdom cannot be more than five wide or across. Hang on. They, no, they, they don't have to place it yet. Really? Yeah, everybody picks. Oh. And then you place it in order. Holy crap. Did you did you lie to Chad about how to play this game? I was testing your Let's Play video. Oh my. And apparently you did well, so A+. Plus. Gee, thanks. High You're... school was the best time in my life, and I love being reminded of it. I went to a high school that was awesome. I know. I'm jealous. All right. So, yeah, you, you pick which tile you want, and then the top, so the lowest number, which should be the top tile, yeah, that's the person who gets to choose where to place their tile first. They're also the person who gets to pick their next tile first. I didn't want to go through and explain the game because there's a video. I mean, you're right, but then you also did it wrong, so, you know. Yeah, here we are. First, right. first time for everything. Madeline, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I want the top tile with the forest and the grass. Boom. All right. I'm going to go with... This cave tile with a thing. Which leaves Luke getting that one. Okay. Now you yep. flip over the second row of tiles. It told me not to set it up, so I didn't set it up. The rules said that, Sharon. I'm not a rule book. You're not a rule book, that's true. Alright, so Well not with that attitude, you're not. <laughs> right now I'm just a rules pamphlet, but one day. <laughs> Wow, there's, there's some double tiles going on here, guys. All right. You are so now Madeline, leaflet. as being the top, gets to take her tile, mm -hmm. decide how she wants to orient it, yep. and then choose which one of these she wants next. Cool. Hey. So I'm going to do it. I, it's essentially how you have it right there huh? with the forest touching. Okay. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Cool. And then one through four. Maple, maple. Oh, I'm picking another tile now? Yep. You guys can see the next um, row, right? It's it's very close to the edge. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for that double forest. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Double forest all the way across the sky. <laughs> all right. That being said, I was going to say across the land, but oh. it works too. Double rainbow guy recently passed, and then I said, mm -hmm. "That is sad." Yeah. Luke, it's your turn. <laughs> so I, I will. I will go ahead and. Lay that with the catapult touching uh, the top. Like that? Yep. Or like that? No. Okay. The other direction. Done. And then I will take four. Boop. All right. I am going to go with that guy there. And I'm going to place this right here and then now it's chat so chat gets the last one because uh -huh. that's how that works uh -huh. and then they get to decide where they would like this and while chat is deciding i will 
flip over some new tiles. Or rather, I'll put them down. So, Bryce, what? I have a request. Could you say how many crowns are on each tile? Oh, yeah. Because um, it's hard to see on yeah. the... Can do. So chat awesome. has two on their uh, grasslands. Currently, Luke has one attached to his kingdom, and the tile he's going to get next turn has two in the Badlands. I don't know. What are you... Swamp? We'll go with Swamp. I'm sorry, it's Swamp. Yeah, let's go with Swamp. Though Badlands is an amazing name. Well, I like Grasslands, Badlands, Plainslands. Uh... One I am currently going to get next turn has one crown on a, the planes with the windmill. And then I don't know about the next ones, so we'll have to see. And Sharon hopefully is going to direct me slash chat to whatever orientation they want. Yep. They're thinking. Thinking, processing. Thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just like it is now, we'll just squeeze that water up there. Boop. All right. So now there is a wheat and swamp tile. There is a wheat with one crown and a water tile. There is a forest with a crown and a water tile. And there is a water tile with a crown, water with a crown and forest tile. And chat gets to go first. It's a lot of grasslands. Something I really like about it is that each of the tiles usually will have something that's a little different. And even if it's just something as small, it's really small, guys, so you're not going to pick it up on camera. But, like, some of them have, this one, you can see the windmill. But there's also a little dude in a baker's outfit who's walking with bundles of wheat. Because he's going to go mill. He's probably a baker. This one has, like, a logging camp with a bunch of uh, loggers. Bringing their stuff out to a ship. They just have little intricate details that are on them that are really, really nice to see. Yeah, it's cool they didn't just, like, repeat the same, like, this is the grass template and yeah. this is the forest thing. And, like, a lot of them are very similar. And there is, you can see, a basic one yeah. that they reuse a couple times. But they, more often than not, will have different stuff going on. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Little crows on the wheats. I love crows. Me too. They're real smart. <laughs> Man. Support the local murder. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> this one that Chet has has a whole freaking farm. There's a bunch of sheep and pigs. Uh, there's little lambs. That's why it's got two crowns. It's a valuable property. Yeah. yeah. There's a horse. Do you know how many people have horses? Mm, no, I don't know how many people have horses. There's probably a lot. <laughs> Several, at least. Yeah. We need exact numbers, Bryce. At, so, at least so Sharon, four. Where does Chet <laughs> want this tile? Well, they haven't talked about that yet. Because that's what we're waiting on. I know. <laughs> Like, I, I started a poll for which tile they want after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they only have a couple of options because yeah. it can't touch. Oh, no, it can touch, can it? It can be like, boop. It can because yeah. it's still touching the wild. The wild, the wild card. Thing. But, like, once the wild is fully surrounded, then it can only be adjacent to uh, the same land type. Okay. Wild. No. <laughs> Not today. Today. Not today. Today. Today was a long day. It was a really long day. <laughs> Shane worked. I went to the doctor. Then I went and paid bills. Above the wild tile and to the left. Boop. There, left. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. 
And then nice. the new tile that Chat wants is the bottom tile. Boop. Madeline. Okay, I've been thinking long and hard about this, and I still haven't figured out what I want to do. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm tempted to do it just like a line of forest going out and away. Um, I don't know if that's smart thing. You know, but... I played the game twice. It could be smart. It could not be. I don't know. Well, the yeah. important thing to remember is that your your kingdom can't be more than five squares across. Yeah, I was actually thinking about it oriented the other way, where it's forest touching forest. I mean, that's probably smarter than what I was thinking, but the you mean where directly it, on top of the the forest plane style. I I was thinking the, the out, like shifted over there. Oh, okay. That's what I was envisioning. Okay. But I don't know if that's smart or not. But... Nobody knows if that's smart or not. Yeah, that's... I don't know if there's it a competitive you... King Domino. It lets you keep uh, a lot of options open on all sides of the wild tile. Yeah, yeah. that is true. And I, and I also, it's right now making my favorite shape of Tetris piece, so... <laughs> I, I will keep it. That's your favorite Tetris piece? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I was just wondering. <laughs> My favorite is the one that chat has. Mm, yeah. yeah. Pretty classic, too. Yeah. All right. Now, Madeline, what okay. tile do you want so, next? I'm going to go for the um, windmill and, like, water. Yeah, that one. Okay. And the windmill has a crown. Yes. Okay. As yellow... Cool. I will choose to do this, and then I will be taking tile two, tile three. That's the one. All right. Luke, you get the last tile. But how would you like uh, this let's, oriented? Let's go ahead and, uh, and just square that right up with the other one. Boop. I assume you mean like that, sir? Yep. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Let me get some new tiles up on here. That That is the one, like, slight drawback, it seems, is that the rules say you, you're not supposed to set up the next tiles until everyone's chosen. Well, yeah, because you shouldn't be able to plan that far ahead. Exactly. Like, that's the point. Yeah. The only thing is that it takes a second to do that. Oh, no. This board game takes time. I know, Shane. I've got, <laughs> I've got too many things on my plate right now. Spend time flipping some things. Hey, there's no way this game is going to take more than three hours, so are you I'm. Sure about... Do not I don't think it's yeah, too are much you right sure about that? Because I got some game. stories, fam. Let's talk about wood and logs. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were like. All right. Not the game that should never be mentioned again. No, no, that game is dead to me. I love that game. That sucks for you. I know. I never get to play the games I love. But look, it's your turn. So, what are the crowns on the uh, next row so that the we haven't selected? So, the next row coming up is a plains and a swamp with a crown. The swamp has the crown. There's a plains and a farmland, grassland, with two crowns. There's a plains and a swamp with two crowns. And then there is a swamp and a cave with two crowns. I've been calling them mines. They are little mine carts. I mean, sure. Caves and mines are very similar, in fact. One, But mines are more valuable. It's true. But you know what? I call them caves. Unless you have a lot of tourism. I call them caves. And here we are. Okay. <laughs> I respect that. The raging debates of our times. <laughs> um, What's okay. the difference with Corey? <laughs> there we go. Now nobody's happy. <laughs> A perfect compromise. Except for Doctor Who. <laughs> uh, 
I will take my uh, my next piece there, and if I could put that swamp side underneath yeah. and flip it around 180 degrees so that the planes are on the other side. So it should be noted, and I was trying to find this out, the wild card does not count as contiguous. Okay. Okay, so we could have five pass. So six total with the wild card. No. No, no. no. It no. Just, so right no. now his swamp is bridged by the wild card. That does not count as oh, four okay. contiguous swamp tiles for the purposes of, of points. Yes. Okay. I, I, I now get it. <laughs> it doesn't even count as three contiguous nope. swamp tiles. It is. For right, right now these would score, and then this does not score. Whereas if it's connected to them, it will count. Which is why I wanted to bring it up. Because I had to check the say... I had to check that. Does that affect where you want to place it, Luke? Possibly, because, yeah, that was my assumption. Yeah. Okay. And especially since the points are calculated per square times crowns, it, you want to get as many squares connected to a bunch of crowns as you can. And he's yeah. kind of on a roll. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and, and do that. Flip that to where it's uh, up top, keeping the, keeping the swamps together. Like that? Or like that? Let's go ahead and uh, do it the other way around just to, just to keep options open. Sounds good. And your next up, uh, tile, good sir. Um, I will take number three. Good choice, good choice. Madeline. Oh, yes. Which tile did I end up picking? Oh, it's the grassland and the water. Okay. Yep. And the grassland has a crown, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So... I'm going to stick the grassland underneath my wild. Okay. Boop. Yeah. Okay. Like that. And what is your next tile then? Oh, my next tile, I'm going to do um, that top grassland and, or no, the top one. That one, yeah. Alright. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got some woods and water. Things I don't have any at all of. <laughs> so that's nice. So I'll go like that, I guess. And my next tile will be that guy. So, chat. Water to water, forest to wild. Boop. Yeah, they were they were on it. Yeah, I know. Good job, Chad. Nice. That's fucking slick. All right, moving these over. The first is. That's your one. I hope you're happy with how you used it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> I'll, pro I'll probably use some more. And there will be penalties. Dire consequences. <laughs> So, oh, first so one. we're confirmed PG-13. Yeah. So, <laughs> water and uh, plains. Forest and water with a crown. Grassland. Uh, grassland? I don't know. Farms? I've been calling it meadow. All right, we'll go with meadow. Meadow with a crown and plains. And meadow with a crown and water. You were up first, Madeline. Okay, grassland to grassland, with the the swamp going out. Uh, this way. Yep. Okay. And your tile of choice. Um, I'm gonna go for the second one down the water with the forest. Okay. Chat. The turn is yours. Uh, what did they say? 
on the remaining wild side, uh, plains to plains, meta to meta. Plains to plains, meta to meta. Done. And then I am thunderously typing yet? in the the poll for which tile they want. I can see that. Should be able to hear it as well. <laughs> Oh, uh, it seems like Mark suggests that they should be pasture, which I like as yeah, well. Yeah, makes sense. I just probably going to call it a bunch of different stuff. That's how I got it. Like, oh, look at this cow tile. It's got a bunch <laughs> of cows. Holy crap, this one is nothing but pigs. I'm going to count the pigs. <laughs> this is the riveting content you tuned in for. <laughs> There are 24 pigs on this tile, Sharon. I'm entertained. 20? Who needs that many pigs? A pig farmer. Yeah, that's, that's true. Got it in one. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a mouse pig farmer. Man, how many are piglets? This is this is what you got, conversation-wise? Well, there's eight adult pigs. So... It's a lot of piglets. We are we are seven weeks past due on playing this game, and you have you have you have no trivia. What you have is let's count the pigs. There's a game called Let's Pass the Pigs, or is it just Pass the Pigs? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just Pass the Pigs. Yeah, it's the, you roll the pigs right and like score based on how they land. Yeah, it's Yahtzee, but with just two pig dice. Yeah, it's a weird game. <laughs> It sounds like a weird game. Because, like, you want snouters and weird stuff, because if they, like, land on their nose up, you get points. That sounds like a two-beer game. It's at least a three-beer game. Because you're just throwing pigs. Like you do. All right, what are, we, what are we looking at here, chat? Let's see. Pax, I love bacon a lot. Mmm. But okay. I don't need that many pigs. Let's see. Somebody else could have that many pigs. So chat tied between... Oh no, chat didn't tie. I just left on an invalid option. Good they job. They picked the bottom <laughs> tile. Okay, done. I was so happy to, to finally be done typing that I just didn't didn't go back and correct that. Well then. <laughs> Luke! Uh, I will take that and just line up the swamp. Uh, and the prairie. Yep. Alright. So now or, this is as wheat. tall as Excuse your guy me. can be. Yep. Okay. And your next option, good sir? Uh, I will take number three. Alright. I obviously have the last one, so I will connect this way. And I will take that last tile, because that's what's left. So... Sharon says that counting pigs... Oh, ooh, that's so cool! Oh my god. So, first tile is water, water, with N Nessie. Hang on. Let Sharon's me... gonna nice. zoom in so you can see I'm Nessie. Gonna, I'm gonna take it from you because you're, you're bad at this. Oh, and there's like two dudes trying to catch her? The fools. Oh, man, oh my gosh! Cool I, I kind of want that tile for like no strategic reasons. It's so just pretty. Just for the aesthetics. It's a very pretty tile. Alright, but now... This next one is two meadows, sheep. Is that a dead sheep? No, he's screaming. He's screaming because there's a dragon above them. There's a lot of sheep that are uh, clustered on this forest thing. And there's one with, like, bugged out eyes and his tongue sticking out. Probably on account of the dragon. That's my thought. The fact that there's that much detail is ridiculous. Anyway, so that's water, water, grass, grass. No crowns. All right, we got Swamp Swamp. Oh, man, this one has stuff, too. All right, I'm going to look at it while you guys are choosing. And then the last one, not as exciting as either of the other ones, no. is Forest with a Crown and uh, Plains. We don't I even like that know it confirms that this one. is a fantasy world just by, like, having dragons and, like... Mm -hmm. Funky things. 
All right, yeah. it's so fuzzy. I know. Shannon has to do it. Ah. This one has something um, going under cool. the swamp and stuff. Like, it's so cool. All right, that's enough. We're we're good. See, you guys saw it. Now I'm picturing like a like level one um role play game where these are the the like space tiles where if you pick like you have to have that encounter as you go through. And then you die. That would be fun. You pick a Loch Ness monster and you're a random dude on a rowboat with a net. You know, thinking about like you said that like okay we know this is in a fantasy world Wait, it, it occurred to me I'm the one who's holding up the show yes, give me a second it occurred right. to me that it might be neat to have like a one shot RPG where like you don't know what the setting is you just have a character and then you're like oh there's a dragon like, okay well there's dragons in this world now now we know this and you just get to to discover it the hard way yeah I mean so is that is that okay even though the water is touching, yes, a, because a it has one connection to uh, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, cool. And it connected the wild. Yeah, it's like dominoes. It has to match on one tile. It doesn't have to match perfectly. Okay, cool. Thank you. And I'm gonna go with. I guess I'll go with the one that might get victory points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. No, wait, God, ah, no. Ah. <laughs> so, can you tell us what uh, is the like crowns and stuff on the the ones you just pulled? Yeah, uh, nothing, 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 and then the forest has a crown. Okay. Madeline. I'm sorry if you already said it. I missed it. It's okay. Don't apologize to him. He doesn't deserve that. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Listen here, Tech. I, I, I oh. washed my hands. Oh. I'm not part of this. <laughs> we have talked about the hierarchy here, and Tech is not a word you say with disdain, sir. Oh, I did it. Oh, Tech is to be feared and revered. Not in this household. This is a house that actors built. Actors watched other people build it. Exactly. They, they came in the next day and were like, looks good, guys. We supervised well. Well, if the actors did build it, it's coming down soon. <laughs> uh, it is Madeline's turn. Okay. Why did I pick that tile? Okay. Um... Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do... Um... Water touching water and wild. Okay. So slot it in there. Yeah. All right. This and is so as I have a question. Go. Huh? This is as wide as your kingdom can go now. That answers my question that I didn't ask. So I, I was about to ask the question of is that as wide as I can go now? Or does it have to be five on one row? I but, got you. <laughs> yep. But now, Red what do you want? So I'm going to go for the bottom tile, the forest with the, the wheat. I left this beautiful water tile for you because you said you wanted it. But I don't know where to... Okay, fine. I'll no, take no, the water too late. tile. <laughs> don't, don't let me badger you into taking a water tile. The glorious Loch Ness monster. Okay, I do really want it. What? Not <laughs> I the do dragon really want tile. Right. See, that's the that's the thing. Like, if it were a kraken tile, I I would have disregarded my entire game so far, just for that tile. But I'm I can have a little bit of restraint with Nessie. <laughs> Slightly less cool. Yeah. There is a Kraken one, though, I think. Oh, I don't know. Don't tell me that. I think there is. <laughs> we'll find out at some point, I guess. Oh, we yeah. See, now box. I'm going to be spending the entire time keeping just enough space for a two <laughs> water. Yep. <laughs> Whose turn is it? It's good to have goals. It is Luke's yeah. turn now. Uh, if I can slot that in... Um, with the 
matching up to the other pasture lands with the up top and then rotate it uh, so that the, uh, yep, slots in there. All right. And then uh, which one will you be choosing? I will be taking the swamps, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm shocked. Luke, swamp king. (laughs) All right, chat. How would you like your orientation to be knowing that you'll be getting Loch Ness Monster next? Water to water, meadow to meadow. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Chat's tile selection has been on point. Yeah. The rest of the players should learn a thing or two. (laughs) Nah. What? All right. So we've got forest, forest, no crowns. Water, water, no crowns. Plains, forest, one crown on the forest. And then caves with three crowns and plains. Oof. On this water one, there's like a dude who's been set adrift. He's on a raft that's coming apart, but he's got his shirt set up as a sail. He's fishing with, I don't know, some other clothing. It's pretty cool. He's got a bottle in the water. It is now chat's turn. Yeah. They're talking about it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of uh, trivia I know about this game. So that's a thing. Who did the art? Look at the box. Tell me who did the art. Because I want to see if they've done anything else. So this version is put out by Blue Orange, by the way. So I'm not sure... If it's under a different manufacturer now. Uh, the art is Cyril Bouquet. And the uh, designer is Bruno Cathala or Cathala or some other pronunciation. So that's cool. I'm curious if Cyril has done any other. Um, games, because his design is pretty great. He has a board game geek page, but it just says Cyril Bouquet is the illustrator of the Blue Lion. I don't know what the Blue Lion is, but I'm I'm intrigued now. I don't know. So we're gonna do some other links and see. I don't know if it's the same Cyril Bouquet, but there is a Cyril Bouquet who apparently does comic book art. Huh. Hmm. I mean, I can see an overlap. Yeah. I mean, apparently it's got an expansion called Age of Giants. Oh, that sounds tight. Which came out, um, 2018, so. There's also Queen Domino. Mm. How is it different? I don't know. But there's a Queen and a Queen Domino, that's all I know. Well, if Pac-Man has taught us anything. A boat. The queen is wearing a bow. (laughs) Yeah, they slapped a bow on it. The only difference. It'd be interesting if it were, like, building a city, and you've got, like, different, like, residential districts and the the touristy districts trying to make your own little, like, city. I don't know. I don't know why that would be specifically Queen Domino, but I guess I'm thinking about if there was a different version of this that was... That would be the one that I'd want to play. Apparently, according to the internet, Queen Domino is essentially the same game, but with more added rules and content. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's its own expansion? But it's just better, apparently. Oh, man. Oh. Everyone hmm. recommends getting Queen Domino over King Domino. Because Interesting. Because it's the same game with better fun rules. I think it probably depends on who you're primarily playing your games with. True. Because, like, if you want that more kind of advanced tactical thing, then then Queen Domino might might be for you. Yeah. I mean, I can see how this game kind of slots nicely in the 8-plus demographic. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't played any other blue-orange games, that is their market. They are really good at that age range, like 8 to 13. 
I've seen some really good six to ten games too. Like they're good. What else have they done? Nice. I don't know. Other good games. <laughs> I'll look it up right now. Well, blue, orange. Okay. Blue, orange games. I think. Oh, they did. They do spot it. Yeah, that's one they do. Okay. Oh. Okay. See. Oh my gosh, a lot of games. Okay. Alright, let's see. Games that more people have heard of. Okay. I don't know. So Battle I... Sheep. I love Battle Sheep! <laughs> Battle Sheep is an amazing game. <laughs> um, so if we want to place our water tile next to the little uh raft pointing down. Pointing down. We're... Oh, they're down? Yeah. So there? The only down that matters. This way? Audience like this? down. Yes. Okay. Cool. Done. What's the next tile you would like, though? Uh, um. Oh, gosh. There's one or three. Three. Boom. Why are you, why are you messing up our kingdom? What did Chad ever do to you? It, so many hurtful it's things. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Don't mess it up. All right. So now I'm going to choose. I'm going to take this here. Dragon flyby tile. It's gonna go right here. And then I'm going to be getting that guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Hard to pass up. <laughs> yep. What about you, good sir, Luke? Uh so in terms of the two uh swamp tiles that I have um that don't have uh fields next to them. Mm -hmm. Do either of them have stars? Uh, these ones? Yeah. Yes, they in fact have one crown and then two crowns. Okay, I will place it uh, going off of the one with two crowns. So, like so? Yep. Excellent. Luke is going to have a lot of points. All right, Luke, would you like the double water or double forest? Uh, let's go... Let's go double water. Yeah. Boom. And last but not least in our hearts, Madeline, where would you like this forest slash plains? Okay. Don't don't comment or judge me. I I want the the forest to hang off the last forest. There? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. And then I want the double forest. <laughs> all right. All right. See? Yep. Interesting. All right. I'm we'll getting go. there. Doesn't look like it, but I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have... Wow. We've got... Wow. Can you shuffle these? Right? All right. So we've got double planes, no crowns. That was not a yes or a no. Well, <laughs> somebody said... She said, did you shuffle these? And you oh. said, right? <laughs> exactly. So, double planes, no crown. Double forest, no crown. Double water, no crown. And water and forest, no crowns. Does the double water have any pictures on it? No, it's just crappy. Just water <laughs> being water. Now, the double forest has a dude in the center. It looks kind of like Frodo. Fighting a giant spider. He's holding up what looks like it could be Sting or something else. It's glowing. Aww. So that's cool. Yeah. And uh, the double planes has some really confused cows. Aww. So it is your turn, Madeline. Okay. Well, I, I think you know where that double forest is going. <laughs> I got you. Perfect. But now, what, do you want then, another double forest? Um, I... Oh, Maybe. Where would I put it? You could go up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. I can go one more up. Yeah. Um, and I'll have a monopoly on forest. I'll do it. Oh, boom! Excellent. Forest. Yeah. Madeline, logging tycoon. <laughs> All right, Luke. <laughs> you've got some double water going on. 
Hum, hum, hum. It's like just trying to build Nottingham. I, I, I got to have that nice forest front property. <laughs> so you're just already executing your version of, uh, of Queen Domino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are, I, I um, have to put up some log cabins and sell them to hipsters. <laughs> there are some alternate rules in uh, the end of the game that if you wanted to do variations, you could. One is called Harmony. You get extra points if you form the complete 5x5 five five grid. Uh, there's Middle Kingdom, where if your kingdom is in the center, then you win. Or you get extra points. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so let's, of... let's go ahead and put that, uh, on the side, um, coming off that direction, uh, mm -hmm. other, other way. Boop. Yep. All right. And what is your next choice, good sir? Oh, good heavens. Let's go ahead and go uh, water and farm, uh, water and uh, forest. Okay. All right, chat. We've got a forest and the plains. Also, blue, orange did photosynthesis. So that's another game. Okay. While they're voting in the poll. Mm -hmm. Um, I, they want to place the tile in their top left. Yep. Done. And now they're voting uh, on which one they'd like next? Yeah. Okay. I mean, these are not great options. No. I've also screwed. Like, they're fabulous boots. if you already have, like, several crowns in yeah. one of those land ties. Yeah. Because then it's just, boom, like, that many more points, but... Yes, Madeline, I have all the tiles just on the ground, and I'm <laughs> shuffling them without looking over there and pulling one. So, yes. Yes, they are shuffled. So, so in a, a, a vague way. What? I would love to see you shuffle hard cardboard, Madeline. Well, uh, what no, I would have done have is, like, shuffled the them and then stuck them in, like, two piles that I alternate picking from. Nope. Too much. <laughs> on on the floor in a pile works. Yep. Just scatter them around like fifty two card pickup. It'll all <laughs> yeah. come out in the wash. Because because that's always the the best most efficient way to shuffle a deck of cards. Like a toddler. It it is the best. It's terrible for your cards. But scientifically proven to be really shuffled. Really? Yeah. Did science do a science on that? Yeah. Oh, science. <laughs> 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 Alright, what what's what are we looking at here, chat? Uh let's see. Double water. Boom. And then I I'm a gambling man. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I wonder if there even is a... I guess you only need one cave tile to fit into that corner. Yeah. All right. And I get to pick first next time, so... Well, okay, that does have value. Strategy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that being said, I'm going to flip these over. And Yay. we have a forest with a crown and a plains. A plains and a forest with a crown. A forest with a crown and a meadow. And a sea with a the sea has a crown. Okay. 
Hmm. Is there a police chase happening out there? <laughs> There's something, something sireny happening. Sounds like Carla. Yeah, but yep. that's a boring explanation. <laughs> I mean, mm. it the likely explanation. Yeah, boring. Oh, my bad. All right, so I gotta figure out where this here double. Double planes is going. And, uh... Ugh, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Oh, no! It looks like it's going right there. It looks like I can count. I know. But I love you anyway. Thanks. And then I'll be going <laughs> with this one. Okay. The turn is now yours, Madeline. Queen of the okay. forest. Oh, this is what I get for making aesthetic decisions. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you're pretty set. Yeah. Because while Five. you can get wider, you can get one taller. So. Oh, I can get one taller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look who can't count now. <laughs> you, um, you and Shay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the obvious decision of of making it one taller. And just doing that, but yeah. Like here or here or here. Um, I'd slide it all the way over. Hmm? There you go. I don't know why I'm pointing off yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good question. But what's your number, madam? Um. Okay. Can you run down what they are yeah. again? Yeah. There's no problem. There is forest with a crown, and plains. Forest with a crown, and meadow, water with a crown, and plains. I know what one I wanted immediately, but that water and plains is also looking a little tempting, too. Um, I'll go for the, the meadow and forest with a crown. Okay. Meadow. Meadow, honey, meadow. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that was close. Very close. I feel, oh, there, there. Are we missing one still? Yeah, we're missing a pile. Are, are we? Yes. Looks like there's four. Next round. Oh, so you, you put them on the other side of an opaque object, and now I can't see some of them. That what? makes sense. Well, stop trying to look. I didn't tell you to look. I said we're missing one. Oh. Trust my words. <laughs> I found it. So we're not missing one. We were, and then I found it. That's how lost and found works. Anywho, This chat. is the problem with the house that actors built. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is labeled or organized in any way. But we'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chat, chat, chat. What do you want? You did place our dog in her timeout spot, correct? Yeah, yeah, she's in dog jail. Okay. <laughs> so I thought, but I was like, I need to double check and verify. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. been quiet. Su super dog Too jail. Too quiet. She was overtired and was barking at the neighbors who were there all the time. They need to learn. They're... They're... They live there. <laughs> to learn. They're loud. Um, so we are placing, it seems like we're placing that water tile just in that hole that we have at the bottom there. Okay. Oops. Yep. Chat's really nice and, like, organized. Yeah. Yeah. I know. All right, chat, two or four. I have my suspicions. Yeah? Yeah. One has water and a crown. I mean, the forest one also has a crown. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm just saying. Both would get chat points. True, but one gets more points. I mean, maybe they like the aesthetic. Maybe they're trying to be the rival uh, forest lords. I mean, but... water is immediately like eight more points, though. You are right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, like, I don't... <laughs> that's, that's a lot. <laughs> We're building the Great Lakes, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's only a two minute poll, like. I don't know how long these things. I don't count more sheep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> did you see the sheep who was freaking out? Yeah. Because of dragon. Yeah, I did. did. Last time we played this game, you were like, oh my god, look at this sheep. <laughs> look at this little bug eye. I am going to take a picture and post it into the Discord later, all zoomed up. Alright. So you can see how freaked out this sheep is. We want the bottom tile, the water plane. Boom. Excellent. Luke, my friend, where shall you be placing your tile today? Uh, water attached to water with the forest pointed up. Hmm. Like that? Yep. Okay. Bold. You know? Worth it. All right. All right. So, swamp, slide, slide. First, we've got... Forest, forest Lord, we have another forest forest for you with no crowns. There is a forest plains with no crowns. There is a cave and plains with a crown. The plains has the crown. And then there is water with a crown and plains. So I'm going to place my guy... Which is the poopiest. <laughs> Definitely did not work out how I wanted it to. Which makes me sad. Because I can't go up any more than this. Mm -hmm. And I can't go to the sides anymore. But I really want to be able to put the plains uh, cave here. Uh -huh. But that's not going to happen. No. So I have to do this I think. Yes, your only valid move. Yeah, so there's that. Sucks to be you. It does, but then we'll go get that case. I was going to make a comment about, like, this is what you get for not shuffling them, but I and will then refrain in the studio, myself. Madeline became the official shuffler of Zoe Game Night. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to shuffle. I'm oh, a terrible yeah. shuffler. Yeah, we do, Madeline. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a bad shuffler, I will probably end up, like, shuffling them for an hour and getting them back into factory order. The turn is now yours, Luke. Okay. Did I lose the tile again? I, I get you just found them. How did I find them? How did I lose find them? Yeah, I lost it again. Oh, found it. Yeah, I am definitely hard. not going to get to the 5x5 five five here. 5x5 <laughs> five 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 is not either. real hard. It is hard yeah. to get. Uh, forest touching forest with the uh, field up. Alright. And sir, your next choice will be Uh, is there one with, uh, what's the top one again? I can't see that. The top one is Forest Forest. Ooh, uh, yes, Forest Forest. Done. All right, Madeline. Uh, this is bonus points in Pass the Pigs. If you get them to land on their faces and they stay, pig dice. Who even knew? It was created in the 80s at some point, so, you know, I thought it was game early. design wasn't quite what it's up to now. <laughs> so, is me? Yep. Um, it's a, I, I, I forgot what tile I picked. <laughs> you picked forest and plains? Or oh, okay, no, so I just want to slot it forest into the and, uh, forest touching forest, plains Meadow. touching plains. Or meadow. You're getting me doing it. No, the the slot it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then what's your next choice? Um I wanted that forest forest. Um I'll go for the water um grass the 
the perf, yeah perf, the bottom one. Perf. All right, yeah. chat. So it seemed like we were putting it to the right of our little little down water thing. Here. Yeah, I think so. so let's give them. No, I'm being Other corrected. Side? I'm being corrected on that. Yeah, I figured. Other side. In capital letters, I am very wrong. <laughs> because this way it still leaves open the grassland. That is the most aggressive way to be wrong. Or, I mean, they could do it this way. Do we still want it on the bottom, though, guys? Or or further up? What's the plan? I'm a boat. Yes, on the bottom. So here? No, on the bottom. Here? Yeah. I don't know how cameras work. It's a, this has nothing to do with cameras, fam. Well, you're saying the bottom, so the bottom to me is here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, the next one. I should probably put them in the right order. That's part of the game. Alright, the next one is... Oh, what? There's a fox? Is grass and plains. And then there's... Plains with a crown and forest. I had a noticeable emotional reaction to the fox. <laughs> then there is water with a crown and forest. And then there is this majigger cave with two crowns and swamp. And the turn is yours, Luke. Okay, I will uh, put the double trees in the hole in the middle there. Boop. And then I will take the uh, one with the plains and a crown and the forest, yeah. All right. Chat, the turn is yours. All right. I mean, it looks pretty standard. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure that we want to place that tile in the top left, forest, forest, plains to plains. But I've been wrong before. Many times. <laughs> At <laughs> least once. A day. No, not this time though. No. Top left, plains up. So which? Plains up. Here. Yeah. The yeah. top left is. You can't see. <laughs> this see this is why this is why stage directions are always given from the actor's perspective. Because we're better? No, because <laughs> you need help. Because the actors can't translate. <laughs> All right, chat. What are you thinking for your next tile? Is it the water with the ground? It, it's, it seems likely. Um, <laughs> uh. All right. We do solve the poll. It's got a minute left. Well, 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 Kakarot. What are you going to do now? What did you just become, other than a villain? Vegeta, who is technically not a villain anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never seen the thing. He goes back and forth as the Prince of the Sands. Ah. Um, once he gets married and settles down, he becomes a decent dad. He names his kids Trunks and, uh, God, what's her name? Pan? So it's bread and underwear? Yeah, so... About that decent dad thing. To be fair, his name is Vegetables, and his wife is Bloomers. All right. Yeah, no, so there's a real a real problem there. But also, why did they wait to, for him to be a decent dad until after he had kids? Like, why couldn't he be a decent person first? That doesn't make sense. Because he was the antagonist to Goku. So Goku was like everything that's good in this world. I do not approve of this character arc. It feels a lot. No, like no, he had he had a tragic backstory. Oh, like, yeah. uh, come on, he, he was a he was a bad dude, but he had his reasons. Yeah, in the anime, everyone has a tragic backstory. That's like required. Goku didn't. Goku was pretty uh carefree and happy. All right. Well, like I said, also, I've never seen it, so. we want also what time. Goku would do next is scream for thirty minutes and then power up to something new. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I've heard. <laughs> All right, as the yellow person. It doesn't do much to make me want to watch it, though. I tell you what. <laughs> and I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Madeline. Hey. 
So uh, I'm going to, um, oh god, I had a plan, I promise. Well, you have two water, and you have a water with a crown here. I know. You also have, but... well, go ahead. Oh, I just, I, I kind of want to do, so the planes are touching. So down at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Stick out. Yeah. I'm okay. The other way <laughs> gets you more points. Yeah. So you're aware. This way gets oh, yeah. you Yeah, okay, point. flip it. This way gets you four more points. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, either way. You do you, fam, but. Just making sure. You're aware. Yeah. Well, I'll do that then. The other one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And then I want that fox tile. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Fox you get the fox tile. tile. It's so cute. <laughs> I am so glad it was still free. Oh, he's so, he's chasing the sheep and they're all running away with bug eyes. Oh. <laughs> he's not even chasing, he's like looking at them from on top of a rock. That is very cute. <laughs> Alright. So, we're almost done, team. I'm going to flip over these next guys. And we have... Uh, Meadow Meadow, no crowns. We've got Plains with a Crown and Swamp. We have Water with a Crown and Forest. And then we have Cave with two crowns. And a the planes. So, if you can play them, sweet. Most of us can, I, will not be able to so play all of them. So, what happens when you can't play a tile, Brian? Uh, you take it and you can't play it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Best host. Agreed. Uh, uh, uh. If a player selects a domino or is forced to select a domino that does not fit into their kingdom because it violates a 5x5 five five dimension rule or it does not match any available terrain type, it must be discarded from the game. Points are not earned for discarded dominoes. Oh, so, okay. it's discarded. Points aren't earned, it's but not they also like aren't deducted or anything. Or anything no, okay. you don't lose anything. It's just you don't get to play it. Just okay. like pretty important. Madeline, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing that um, double meadow came up a little earlier. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna play that tile the only place I can play a tile. That sounds good. Yeah, but it's got a fox. So yeah, it's got a fox. So that's that's cool. <laughs> and then. What what tile would you like next? I'm so the real question is what tile do you want to take from someone else? Yeah, I exactly. know exactly. It's, it's defense the, now. The thing I'm like, I, I think I'm gonna go for that one. water forest tile. Chat is the only one who will get another tile. Perfect square. Because looking at the boards, I have one spot which will come from here. Luke has one spot. But chat has two perfect spots. I know. So I'm supposed to pick another tile, right? Even yep. though I can't play it? Yep. Okay. So, God, I can... I'm not even looking at the chat, but I can tell them I'm not making them very happy. I mean, um, I can tell you which two they don't want you to take. Okay, so um, the two they don't want you to take, the, the <laughs> double grassland, the the meadow, mm -hmm. because that will get them 10 points, just this one tile. Yeah. And then this other one with the, the water, water and a crown the will get them, like, 10 points. More than I that, know. probably. So, those so, are so the now two tiles. I'm, do, do I want to be nice? Or, or, or not. Vote with your heart, Madeline. 
<laughs> My heart said that water and forest one. Then vote with your heart. Yeah. I'll go with my heart. Boop. Wait, wait, what, what's the thing on the water? Uh, on the water. It's just a houseboat? It's a house on a dock with a, a dude fishing next to his ship. His little rowboat. I'll take that one because I kind of want to live in that house. It's a really nice looking house. All right, Luke. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, go ahead and put that in, uh, correct. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And then, which tile will you be taking? Uh, that would be the double. Excellent. I was gonna go with the forest and the water first, before <laughs> looking at the chat and Bryce <laughs> cheating. <laughs> They're super mad at me and you, Bryce. Yeah, Bryce, you're not on anyone's Christmas list right now. No! <laughs> You've made choices. And I'm just here to help everybody. <laughs> so there's... Interesting pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, chat. The, the only way that we can then make a valid play is to put that nope would be to put that down oh. in the bottom and then take the, the planes with the windmill. I think that... Oof. Or, or we could also take the planes with the quarry and just get that two points for that. Yeah, there's two points. So, I mean, we we could have made a valid move with any oh, of Oh, that's true. Those were just the yeah. best ones. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wait, I should, so I should see, probably actually we're not that start mean. this poll. That would make better sense for me. Boop, there we go. Get that started. So, did we decide where we're putting that guy? Um, I think I think we have to put it in the bottom right corner, because then whatever we get, we can place on that left side. Hmm. True. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes yeah. sense. Yes, I'm being confirmed. Boop. And then whatever Thanks. you choose, you'll get. Yeah, we'll get two points either way. Yeah. And I go here, Would I get whatever's left, it doesn't matter because I won't be able to play it. Same thing like Madeline, same thing like Luke. So chat is the only one who really gets to play next round. So, yeah, I guess they get two points or two points. So it doesn't actually matter. Unless there's a tiebreaker, which I'm pretty sure there is. And that might be the only thing that matters. For... <laughs> Oh, tiebreaker for, for, like, total points? Yeah. Okay. So, in the event of a tie, the player with the largest territory... We got most, plain swamp. If there is still... Uh, the most connecting squares of the same type wins. So, plain swamp. Yeah. Yeah. So, if there's a tie, nine, nine, and that would be Wait. the two... So, I don't have nine. I have eight. No, you have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry. I didn't register that one corner forest as a forest. Okay. Let's do math. Yeah, it's it's fun math time. So this... <laughs> hmm. Okay. Do you want to do them one by one, Shane? Or what do you want to do here, fam? Um, give me the like person and then give me their totals for each section and then I'll do math off screen and we'll have a reveal. Okay. Um, we'll just go around. We'll start with me. Okay. So nothing for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Plus. One. Okay. Plus one. Okay. Plus one. Okay. Plus 40. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. Next is chat. Chat gets one, three. Okay. Two. Okay. 15. Okay. And 27. Eight, 27. Thank you. Okay. Luke gets three. Four. 
Okay. Four. Okay. Thirty. <laughs> All right. And Madeline gets six. Okay. Two. Okay. One. Okay. Eighteen. All right. <laughs> All right, so Shannon's going to do some math. I'm going to do some math. I'm also going to put you on the... I'm going to be on a camera. On the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start actually shuffling because... Let's I, we see. don't have time to play another one. We don't have time to play another one, but that's... So I don't need to shuffle. I can just leave this up. Although I'm probably going to start packing it up while I talk because my dog, our dog, mostly her dog, likes to eat things. And she's a poop egg. And she's allergic to everything. So she's probably allergic to cardboard. I don't even know. We don't know what she's allergic to. She yet. is allergic to everything. It sucks. We're on our third food trial, and uh, right now she gets rabbit. You know how much rabbit food costs? A lot. Because these amount. Because <laughs> freaking special dogs and rabbits. All right, Sharon's really quick at math. So. Oh. All right, fourth place, Madeline, twenty-seven points. Good job, Madeline. Hey, hey, that's place. Yeah. Um, third place is Luke with 41. Good job, Luke. Third place, Chat, 47. Good job, Chat. And with a, a very slim lead, Woo. Bryce has 50 points and wins. Wow. Nice. Like a jerk. They call me King. Do, do they? King Domino. Who, who does that? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, oh wow. All it's, right. It's a secret. I, I, I will not be calling you King Domino. <laughs> <laughs> No, nobody will be calling him King Domino. I'm going to change my name on every social platform to, to King, King Domino. Domino? No. I'm going to do that from now on with every game that I win. Nope. <laughs> speaking, speaking of social platforms, where can people find you, Luke? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at WyattMaxwell08. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I'm very rarely on Discord because I, I just don't get there. Yeah. I, not not for any particular reason. Also, my phone had to get reset to uh, factory settings the other day, so I'm that, slowly rebuilding all of my sucks. apps and uh, no fun. Yeah. So, do you have any projects going right now, or kind of on hold because of everything? Uh, so I just got done with uh, Zoom comedic monologues classes for kids, which was a lot of fun. That's cool. Um. I'm waiting to hear back from Audible on the next audiobook, and then I'm working on the following one after that. So building a whole bunch of new accents and all that wacky wild stuff. Um, yeah, which is which has been a lot of fun. And then I should be back on Metaverse here uh, sometime shortly. Luke, is there a Sweet. link somewhere with like all your audiobooks and stuff if I want to uh, like listen to you while I fell asleep? Um, book. The the only one that's published right now is Airship Daedalus Book Two. Okay. Um, the 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 first one was done by somebody else. Uh, the guy who was producing it just wanted to uh, essentially flew down to L.A. and it was a training exercise for him. Uh -huh. Um, and then I'm finishing out the series from there. Okay. Who who does that series? Uh, Todd Downing is huh. the gentleman's name. Um, he's actually published uh, a tabletop RPG based in that world, oh, cool. um, a graphic novel, uh, some radio plays that he did many moons ago. That's actually how I got tied into all of this. Um, they needed somebody who could do a German accent, so here I was. Well, um, I haven't heard your German accent. <laughs> well, there are more than one, but <laughs> that would be a basic awesome <laughs> yeah there's there's a scene in the second book where i'm voicing three different german characters having a cool. conversation at the same time so that was a lot of fun that's that's a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> go man uh, we're we're up to like seven british characters by this point oh, so it's a lot of juggling yeah so okay so something i've always wondered about do you have to switch back and forth through the accents as you're reading or do you get to record in chunks of different characters and then splice them together uh for ease of editing i try and switch through the accents as i'm going uh -huh. um it gets to be a real bear trying to splice together audio from different takes that's fair uh it 
unless you've got a really, really stable sound room, and I don't. I mean, <laughs> it's not bad, but it's definitely not studio quality. Makes sense. Well, I hope you had fun, Luke. Um, I did. This was delightful. I haven't been to every one of the game nights here in ages. Every yeah, I think um, the Riverboat Mystery was the last one you were on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last one I was on. No, the uh, oh, all of all is. of the yeah. lawmen just making fun of is. each other. Doctor Watson, how could you forget? Literature character murder mystery gets no love. Oh, oh no! I'm so sorry. I Sh- had them flipped. I had them flipped <laughs> in terms of order of operations. <laughs> that was a ton of fun as well. And that that was also like me, like the last time I remember seeing you was on that game night. And in my brain, it was like, oh, that's just the last time Luke's been on game night. And I, yeah. Luke doesn't exist if you can't see him. <laughs> that's that's no, fair. Like permanence. <laughs> well, again, so we do this every Thursday. Right now, by the way, we do currently have a poll up voting for our next poll game, which will be nautical theme. Where is that poll? Ooh. That poll's in the Discord, everyone. Do yep, not... the Zoe Game Night Discord. Yeah, we have a Zoe Game Night Discord, and there's people hanging out, talking about stuff, so that's cool. That's where we're going to post the up-close pictures of those sheep and the fox, so so check that out. Vote in the thing. We'll see what people want to play, some nautical-themed stuff. That's how we're... Next up on that, by the way, we're playing uh, Lotus, which yep. is the flowers... Yep. set that we uh, voted on then we'll do nautical and then we'll see what's up next after that don't forget that on Mondays we have metaverse like Luke mentioned you could see him there his bright and smiling face <laughs> and other wacky shenanigans on metaverse that's 6 o'clock on Mondays Tuesdays I'm actually not sure what we're running now Is it? I'm pretty sure it's still DG game night Oh yeah, DG Game Night. I was thinking Wednesdays. So on Tuesdays, it's DG Game Night where they do some fun role-playing stuff. I I don't know if they're doing um, Masters of the Universe with the He-Man stuff or She-Ra or if they're doing some more Demon Hunters. I don't know. You'd have to check it out to see. I work during that time, so unfortunately I can't really check it out. So you'll have to do it for me. It is always a good time. Please get back to me. I want to know. <laughs> Wednesdays is time... Void jumpers, not void jumpers. Yeah, yeah. Void, void jumpers. Jumpers with a J, everybody. There is no H in that <laughs> sentence. Just so you're oh, aware. Oh, that was such a good messing with you, though. I'm. So... I would have believed it. I don't know why, you, but you really think they would have? They would have greenlit a show called Void Humpers? Hey, there's a lot of things you could do with a hump, like <laughs> getting over it, getting over that void hump. I don't know. And it's Karen. Wednesday. It is Wednesday. I mean, it's hump yeah. day. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Exactly. So, it's not Void Humpers. It is Void Jumpers. And so you should check that out. I think that's also at 6. Yeah. Okay, so at 6. Obviously, us on Thursdays. And then Fridays currently is... <coughs> RPGs with Ethan. RPGs with Ethan. Whose last name I can't pronounce, but it's got a bunch of J of U. It's like bourgeois, bougie, Bougeau. Bougeau. I do not Bougeau. speak French. He's a really nice person to I have such a, a, a harsh last name. I mean, it's not harsh. It makes me feel stupid every time I try and read it. So, yes. Yes, it is. All right. Well, that's fair. <laughs> harsh in that respect. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's harsh in that way. But you should check it out because we're all doing fun stuff. We're all trying to do what we can. I don't know about you guys, but we're all still stuck at home, as you can tell by my beautiful lush carpet and our sweet, and, sweet stool. I'm and like, what so are we playing next, next week? Pandemic. We're yeah, playing Pandemic, everybody. Pandemic. Uh, Pandemic Legacy. I don't remember what month we're on. Um, okay. we, we finished March. I thought we finished April. Oh, the last time we played was April. I don't know. Yeah. We'll it, it's it confusing the that we're playing it like one month like behind what month we're actually in. Yeah, and last and month I, things things happened. Yeah, it there got was real yeah. scary. You, if you don't know what's going on, there's zombies. There's like other don't spoil it for them. Well, I'm telling them that they have to go watch watch and see what happened last time. There's vods. 
translucent But, but see, you're still zombie. spoiling it for that. Yeah. Oh, go watch it. There's no translucent zombies. <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, I got the sign. You know what that sign means. That it's time for me to go get dinner. And for you guys to have a great night. Wherever you are at whatever time you're watching this. So, as and always, I want to thank you all for being here. And I want to thank our other hosts and people. Sharon, she's not a host. She's just a people. But we love her as a people. Madeline and Luke for joining us. One day we'll be in a studio and we can high five after these shows. But until then, virtual high five. Ugh. Yeah. So... As always, guys, I want you to have a good night, have fun, play games, stay safe, and wash your hands, and wear a mask. Hi. I don't have a mask on right now.